Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshree here and in today's video I'm going to discuss about Capricorn Moon Signs and Capricorn Ascendants and how the month of July is going to unfold for you. But before I go ahead, I would also like to request all of you to subscribe to my channel and going forward if you feel that uh, this video is of any guidance to you for the upcoming month do subscribe to my channel, do like this video and share with others, whoever needs it. Without further delay, let me now start with the predictions for Capricorn Moon Signs and Ascendants. Your sign lord Saturn remains in your second house in the sign of Aquarius and in retrograde motion. Very powerful Saturn there in your second house. And from July, 1st July, Saturn will be aspected by Mars, directly aspected by Mars from Leo. This is a significant development for you because Mars will be there in your 8th house and your 8th house becomes super active in the month of July. Saturn and Jupiter by their aspects are anyway activating your 8th house. Now Mars has gone there. Venus will come and join Mars after the first week and in the last week of the month Mercury will come and join there as well. So it's a hyperactive 8th house for you. Now this has some good implications and some not so good implications. When Venus is coming to your 8th house, it opens up possibility of gain of property for you. It can bring you money, it can bring you name and fame and also a beautiful person in your life, particularly if you are a male. Now Mars will be in 8th house. Mars in 8th house is not really great for health. It can cause health troubles, it can cause injuries as well. but Jupiter's aspect on this Mars is going to protect you. Let's not forget that as well. So you can buy a house, you can buy vehicles, you can go abroad. If your own chart promises, there can be some health issues for you. There can be injuries as well. If you are married, the first week of July can see some disturbances because of emotional ups and downs in the relationship. Even after that, you need to remain carefully, particularly from 23rd July onwards when Venus goes retrograde in your 8th house. If we speak about your career, the first half of July looks favorable for you. Sun in your 6th house will help you to have an edge over your competitors. If you are in the research field, in astrology, insurance field, July will be a productive month for you. However, work-wise remain a bit careful after 23rd of July. Money-wise, July will be a positive month for you. It will prompt you to take stock of your financial situations so that you can make necessary corrections in this area and going forward, your wealth increases. So the steps that you will be taking now will actually be positive in the long run as far as your finances are concerned. Gain of money is also forcing for you. If you are in business, others investment in your business, that can also happen. If you are appearing in any competitive examination, July is good for that. For higher studies, you may travel to a different place or even to a different country. In the last week of the month, you may feel that you are not getting the support of luck. Try to avoid property matters in July. Your father's health will need attention after 25th July. Try to avoid going on long journeys after 25th. Retrograde Saturn in your family house can cause some trouble or disputes in the family. And this kind of dispute can happen because of parental wealth or family wealth. You also need to remain careful about how you communicate with others. 
because uh, Saturn is in your house of speech and it's retrograde. So remain careful, a little bit of cordiality, a little bit of sweet uh, speech is not going to harm you, rather it's going to uh, defer a lot of difficult situations for you. Jupiter's aspect in your 8th house can help you to bring parental wealth uh, for you as well. Now let's find out how your health will be. You need to take care of your health in July because your 8th house is super active. Possibility of injury cannot be ruled out. Your siblings health can also cause some concern or there may be difficulties in relationship with them. And this kind of difficulty can also be there with your uh, neighbors and with your friends. So you need to remain a little bit careful, be clear about communication, but don't be harsh while interacting with anyone. Chances of foreign travel, moving away from hometown or home country remains there. And expenses related to these areas are also foreseen. Now I'm coming to some special dates for you in the month of July, 1st and 2nd July. And again, 25th to 29th July will be excellent for your professional growth, for uh, monetary matters as well. If you are expecting a career enhancement or a job change for a better job or a promotion, that can happen on these dates. And remain careful of health and injuries between 20th and 22nd of July. So that's all for the month of July for Capricorn Moon Signs and Ascendants. If you feel that this video is of some guidance to you, do like it, subscribe to my channel and share the video with others, with whoever needs it. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.